Hello everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. Just wanted to drop another quick video here to let you know how things are coming on the Rolls-Royce Armored Car. And I've made a lot of progress on it. I'm feeling really good about it. I've got the decals on it now. And uh, I'm working with my camera and my audio, trying to get things tuned up for you guys so that it's a little bit more pleasant for you to watch. And um, not just be a boring update uh, video. Yeah. Just a little bit more interesting, so you guys will like it. And just trying to let you guys know what's going on with it. Um, I'm not monetized and I'm not sponsored, and I don't make any money off of this. I just enjoy the hobby and uh, don't use Facebook, unfortunately. Um, I really don't like Facebook at all, or else I would post some still photos for you so that I could share. But I can do this, and this will allow me to share some video of it for you. So what I wanted you guys to know is I got the decals all done on it. There was five decals. I mean, it was not like a big deal. And um, I went with the basic paint scheme, as I've told you before, because I really didn't want to try to mess it up uh, more than, you know, it just seemed a little bit complicated. Uh, some of the other paint schemes, it looked like the weathering was going to be a little bit more difficult for me. And I thought, you know what, this is my first time weathering something like this. So I thought I would just go with the basic first and learn as much as I could off of it and then move on from there. So um, it's looking pretty well. Um, I like it. I'm happy with it. And um, like I said before, I just finished the decals on it. And I used the Microset and Microsol um, product on it. And I had used the Tamiya uh, MarkFit before, and I really didn't have a lot of luck with it. Uh, I, it was kind of frustrating for me. I had a hard time. It When it dried, it left a residue that I wasn't happy with. And um, using the Microset and Microsol seemed to work better. It's not very inexpensive over here. I think it's uh, 15 or $20 for the, both of the bottles for the Microset and the Microsol. But it did a great job. The only question I have is there's a little bit of residue here from, I'm not sure which, if it's the Sol or the Set. And it may need to dry some more too. I don't know. But I'm afraid that when I clear coat it and get ready to start doing the weathering, that some of that residue will show up underneath. I hope not. But if it does, so what? We'll deal with it from that point on. But um, again, the Rolls Royce Armored Car, this thing is fantastic. I, you know, it's just been so fascinating researching the history on this and seeing how they used them, how the British used them. And uh, the old videos, the old black and white grainy videos of the war um, when they used them. And actually uh, videos of these being used uh, during active fighting. And uh, the guy standing here operating the machine gun inside the turret, what it looked like inside. And like I mentioned before, there's a tank museum. There's an actual tank museum in the UK where they have two or three of these still working. And um, they demonstrate them for visitors. I would love to go see something like that. I mean, we just don't have that kind of history here in the colonies. And I would love to go see something like that and be able to see it firsthand, something, a running example of this, you know, and uh, try to get a concept of what the, guy, the uh, soldiers experienced when they were working with this kind of equipment and fighting, you know, fighting the war with it. But once again, like I've told you before, it's been fun. It's been exciting. I'm pretty much um, not done with 172 models. I, I, I like the small scale, and I think it was great to learn on, but I'm ready for something bigger. So I've got something bigger in the works, and you're going to be seeing that very soon, um, much bigger than this. Uh, and uh, it's going to be something I think will be a little bit easier with, for me to work on anyway. Uh, my hands shake quite a bit sometimes and it's hard for me to make, you know, to get the details right on small things. So there's, there's a few things in here that aren't correct, you know, a few things that aren't lined up right. But there's been a lot of effort made on this. I want you to understand I made a lot, a lot of effort on this and um, it's come out much better. Um, the hind is gone. The hind is no more. The hind is in the display case and that's where it's going to stay. This one turned out much better with all the lessons I learned from behind, as I've told you guys before. And uh, I've just had a lot of fun doing it. Um, I detailed the machine gun in the top, just painted it, just painted up some details on it, the wood stock and the metal gun barrel. So as I said before, I'm just getting ready to clear coat it. And um, although I had a bad experience before with the good old pledge, um, I'm going to do it again.
<laughs> I'm going to do it again. And I think I know how to use it now. I found an old video from Fox from six years ago where he actually used almost the same product to do the same thing that I'm trying to do. And what I think I was doing wrong the first time is I think I was using uh, too small a needle and too low a pressure is why I had problems with it. And I may have even tried to thin it, but I'm not going to thin it at all this time. So this is the one I'm going to clear coat with the pledge with the floor care. I mean, it's, it's acrylic is basically all it is, you know. So I think if it's done right and I shoot it through a, a fat airbrush with a big needle, I've got a Badger Patriot and it's got an 055 um, nozzle and needle on it. And I think that's going to be fine. That Badger just throws out paint fantastic. I painted this with the Pash Talon. I like the Pash Talon because it came with three different sizes of needle and um, nozzle. So I could just, you know, switch it out. If something didn't work, I could switch it out real quick and it seemed to work fine. I used Vallejo on this. I love the Vallejo products. I know I know Fox is going to say it's Vallejo, but it's actually Vallejo to rednecks like me in the colonies. So I love it when you use Vallejo with the Vallejo thinner and a little bit of the flow improver. This is what you get. Great, great results. And that's all I care about. I just want a good result in the end. So there it is. There's an update for you guys. I want to thank everybody for all your tips and, uh, and your help and support uh, when I ask stupid questions or what I think are stupid questions anyways. Um, thank you, Panzer. Thank you so much for uh, helping me out. He responds very quickly and gives me comments and updates. Thank you, Lynn, for liking my videos, even though I know they're boring. Uh, thank you, everyone else in the channels. Thank you, Colin, so much for your support and encouragement. Thank you, Fox, for the excellent video game playthroughs and all the tips, too. I'm digging through your archive for the Gumpla stuff and uh, weathering and painting um, because I know you're the pro on painting. So uh, I'm taking a lot of advice from you on that as well. So I, I'd like to thank everybody because I just love um, the community and sharing. And I'm going to be in the build with people. Um, I'm planning on joining the next build, you know, with uh, Festa and friends. And uh, hopefully I'll have something to share on that as well, too. I'm also working on the Hellcat. The Hellcat has the second uh, color of the paint scheme done. And I'm going to upload a video of that soon as well. And uh, like I said before, big project coming up. Big in scale, but uh, not so much big in its uh, detail or anything like that or skill level. But it's going to allow me to stretch my, stretch my wings a little bit more for some of the stuff that I learned on the hind and make it a little bit better, maybe a little bit more interesting for people. And uh, I'm working with, uh, this is the desk cam that I'm working on now. I've got a boom cam, I've got a down cam, and I've got another cam. And what I'm trying to do is find out something that works really good and shows up good on YouTube. Like I said before, I'm working on my lighting and stuff like that right now because I know it's hard to see. If I turn it just right, you know, you can see lots of detail and everything looks pretty well. Yeah, in the light. Yeah, you can see more detail in the light. But um, I'm working on it to see, uh, this is all new to me, video production, the DaVinci Resolve, which is just completely awesome open source soft software. If any of you who upload videos are not using it, you should start learning how to use it. It's a hellacious, steep learning curve, but it's fantastic open source free software. And it's fantastic. And I'm, I'm learning that now so I can edit my videos and make them a little more interesting for you. But other than that, this is it. There's the, my update for the armored car, the Rolls-Royce armored car. And once I get the clear coat on it, start the weathering, I'm sure I'm going to have a ton more questions for you guys. And I will, up to, I will upload more videos um, as far as that when it progresses. And uh, we'll see what happens as we go from there. And um, until then, I want you guys to uh, take care. Love everybody or each other anyway. Um, it's a crazy world we live in, and this is my sanity. And I thank you guys so much for being my friends and being, letting me be a part of your community as well and sharing everything with you. Um, it means a lot to me. It means a whole lot to me. Uh, I work from home uh, in IT, and I have a pretty isolated existence. So this is my social interaction here. This is what I do. So thank you so much again. Take care. Each and every one of you, thank you so much for your help and support. I really do appreciate it. It's been a fun journey so far, and I know it's only going to get better and better and better as we go.